As the great Stephen Hawking even admitted, the laws of science as we know them at present contain many fundamental numbers, like the size of the electric charge of the electron and the ratio of the masses of the proton and the electron. The remarkable fact is that the values of these numbers seem to have been very finely adjusted to make possible the development of life. Take water, one of the most basic resources for intelligent life on Earth. It's comprised of hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen and oxygen happen to bond in a way that forms a perfect crystal lattice structure when frozen. Normally, solids are more dense than liquids, and so they sink below them. But in the case of water, these perfect hexagonal crystal structures space H2O molecules out more in ice than in water, making it less dense. That's why you see water floating above the surface. If that weren't the case, and the Earth would flood many times over. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, no pun intended. If Planck's constant or the strong nuclear force were slightly different, it would drastically change the formation and stability of basic elements like hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen in the first place. Elements that, as we just discussed in the case of water, are essential for organic life. If the gravitational constant were different, the Earth might not be able to retain its own atmosphere, and the lifespan of the Sun could be drastically shorter than it is now. This wouldn't even allow for enough time for life to form in the first place. And what about the Earth's Van Allen belt? It protects us from cosmic radiation that would wipe life off the planet. The Van Allen belt is created by Earth's magnetic field. And if you think the Earth's magnetic field isn't finely tuned to support life, try growing organic life in a Faraday chamber, removing the Earth's natural electromagnetic frequencies. Grow a frog embryo in a Faraday chamber, and it comes out pretty messed up. <laughs> this is why astronauts need to bring human resonance machines up with them to space to mimic the Earth's magnetic field. Otherwise, their bodies will stop functioning properly. And the magnetic field of the Earth blocks just enough solar radiation to ensure humans don't get eviscerated by over-radiation, but lets in just enough to create some of the genetic mutations necessary for natural selection and evolution to occur. The conventional dogma in academia is that these are all just happy accidents that eventually occur with enough time, solar systems, and planets across eons. But thinkers like Riz Verk think these perfectly fine-tuned conditions point to intelligent creation or simulation. 